Okay, my friends, this is breaking news just within the last couple of hours. The river down here in, uh, I believe it's Argentina. Hold on one second. Okay, my friends, this looks kind of interesting. This looks like a stream of blood. Argentina River turns red, sparking toxic leak fears. Now, it's in an industrial area. They showed the area that it was in, and um, it is in an industrial area, but it turns blood red. But this is the key that turns me on here. Listen to this. Residents report. The stream has exhibited various unusual colors in the past. Gray, green, violet, blue, and brown. Remember those colors. Gray, green, violet, blue, and brown. Often with an oily substance. Oily. That's bodily fluids. They say they have been filing complaints against local businesses since 1990s with several cases of alleged environmental contamination still open. They're alleged that they're contaminated. However, these colors, I'm not saying they're not contaminated, but let's see what evidence is there to support that that's the possibly just a natural thing that happens in the earth. And I say, yes, it is. Now, I'm not exactly sure where this is, but I, I, it's somewhere in Australia. It was sent to me. Now, remember these colors? Brown, yellow, green, blue, all of this oily, slick. This, I'm going to tell you, the earth is, is completely made of biological creatures at one time. These are secretions. There's probably a pancreas or something up in here that it has all kind of different secretions of different chemistry. They could check out what is in these different secretions. These are secretions in my, in my way of thinking. It even could be a lung. Because I, I have lungs here that I've cut. And you can see all the different colors like right here. You see that? If that was, you know, there's all kind of different colors in this. I don't know. The earth is just, it's made of biology. I'm sorry, that's just a fact. Now, they, they, they could be filing complaints against these people, and, and it's not their fault. But they got to do the chemistry. They got to dig in deeper. They got to come out of their box and, and open their minds up and look and think about the chemistry they're looking at. Because I, I see it all the time. Oh, this can't be. It's just impossible. Okay, so, and they won't look. And they won't look. And we're missing everything because of this. This should at least be considered. That's just all I have to say about it. You see this? This is not unusual, but it's, it only happens in certain areas. You see these colors? These are the same colors they were talking about, greens and purples and blues and all of these different colors. You see it? See those colors? And over here, watch. Look at these. Look at the different color little lakes. All the lakes have different colors because they're from different biology. You see this? Look at that blue. This is different. This is different. That's different. These merge together, and they, this thing here running into here, that's different. This is biology, my friends. Now, in Argentina, this is probably all covered up. This is starting to thaw out up here. And this is in Alaska. And it's just saturated with these colored lakes in this specific area, because I know why. This is a digestive system. And right there is the cloaca. And these two feed together. That's the poop side and that's the urine side. And it even has the pincher muscles there, like sphincter muscles, whatever they call it. And that is absorbing back some of the fluids, exactly what happen, happens in all bodies. Where the fluids run out, certain ones get reabsorbed right at that sp specific spot. And look at the color of green here, how fertile that specific area is. That's because it's poop. And all of these different colors are from 
the digestive system. And this is where the poop comes down. And it appears that it poops every now and then. Poop, 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 poop. Look at that brown stuff. That could be tested. See what's in there. And then that runs in, because a cloaca, they mix together, and that's exactly what's happening. And then it poops right out here into the ocean. Well, into the Cook Inlet. And I've shown this. This is just stunning. Look at all of this stuff here is also coming out of the digestive system. I don't know, but it's all draining down through here. And when you see down here what happens at the very end, there's some kind of a membrane. Look at this. Look at that. This is obviously not just accidental whatever you could call this. That's biology, my friends. And we, we, we don't understand the earth we live on. We have no idea about it. Look at this. That is some form of, of a gland. And it's oozing its contents out here into Cook Inlet. We just don't understand the earth we're on. It, 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 you know, I, I know, I don't know what to say. But I can tell you what, this is not what we ever expected. It's just, and it happens to be it happens to be biology. Uh, from what? I, I don't know. Well, I do know what this is from. This is Scorbzilla. I followed this. You know what the crazy thing is? The rectum here is right up here. You see the poop coming down? Bloop, bloop, bloop. And I probably was the eruptions. I don't know. And guess what this is called, right up here, where it all poops out of, Mount Spur. <laughs> That's Mount Spur. And this is Anchorage right over here. Somewhere over in this area. But look at all these different colors, the browns and the greens and the yellows and the blues and the, all those different colors. That's all digestive juices. And it's all over. It's over here too. I mean, it's not. It's not just one place or another. And check this out. <laughs> I think maybe I showed you this already, but this is in Australia. Australia is just saturated with blood. I mean, it's just a hundred percent blood. And this is bloody, you know, um, secretions. And it could along. Or it could be just all different secretions in some kind of, of you know, organ inside of some kind of creature that creates all these different colors. All these different colors. Whoops. Hold on. And this is the thing about Argentina. And there it is. They, 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 in the past, it has all these different colors. Gray, green, violet, blue, brown. They, and it's oily. I I, uh, I got to go with a feeling that that's all just natural biology that's happening there and it's being blamed on the industrial center. But it could be, I, 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 there's got to be some way of testing this kind of stuff to see if it's biological or not. You know, if they find, well, anyway, that's another realm that I don't want to get involved in. But if you see all these different colors, that's different biology in the, in the human body. That is different biology. And there's secretions. What this is over there in Argentina, I don't know. All right. But we have to start looking at the world as a organic thing. And um, it's absolutely stunningly gigantic creature or creatures or I, I, it's, it's, uh, it needs to be studied. I don't have the answers for these things. People say, oh, no, 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 no. You say well, I don't have the answers. I'm showing you what I'm showing you. You let's find the answers. I'm not i I'm not the only one. We need some people to look at this and could test this stuff. You know, I can just say what I say. 
based on what I see and what I understand. I understand the chemistry, the biology, all of that anatomy. So, you know, somebody else has got to look into it and see. I mean, I showed you things there that nobody can, can explain, and nobody appears to want to try to explain. That's the problem. I'm sort of looking for a little reality myself. All right, so, Argentina, good luck. Okay, my friends, just within the last four hours, this is a stream turning into blood down there in Buenos Aires. And it's in an industrial area, and they think it may be some contamination. So let's look into that. But I also see this. And uh, I get these all these alerts. Oh, by the way, this was sent to me by Revo, a friend. And, um, and uh, this is Gaia just found two massive objects shouldn't exist. Astronomers are stunned. Obviously, we're going to have to look into that. All right, so let's, let's check this out. Okay, my friends, this locks it up for me. What are we looking at here? Well, this is up in that area where they had that spill. It's, it's in that area. This is digestive system. Uh, nobody's going to convince me of anything other than that. This is in the digestive system of some gigantic creature. And then it flows into this fluid mix here. And the two of them work together. You see this? Some kind of digestion going on here. Very, very strange. But it, what I'm getting at is this is biology. This is not just an accidental runoff of things, hills and valleys. So let's just cut to the chase. I look for abrupt transitions. You see this? That's an abrupt transition. Whatever this would discharge is, I don't know. But it's discharging out here, and I can see that clearly. So if you follow it all down, and it's, it's absorbing or diluting or whatever it's doing coming down here. But when you see these abrupt transitions, that's not all river. But there's a lot of just wiggly stuff going on in here, you know, which is some kind of a biological action. You see that? That's not hills and valleys. Now, that all comes down here, and of course it has a lot of biological, you know, matter. It's probably fecal matter. I'm serious. I'm telling you, these creatures, whether they're still alive and producing, or whether this is just excess that's running out of them, I don't know. But this is just not, again, it's not hills and valleys. And then, as it comes down, it discharges out all the way down this whole area here. All right, and then it comes together as, I believe it's in another cloaca, where this is the fluidy area between the two. And I showed the one in Alaska, or I will. But I'm gonna tell you right now, I, this, in my mind, this is 100% certain, this is a digestive system. Now, they end up having all different kind of colors if something was drilled or somewhere or, or just a, a natural, maybe there was an earthquake down here or something, and it broke through these different layers of, of tissue, which you can end up with these different kind of colors mixing where they shouldn't go, or I don't know. I'm just proposing an alternative. What they can do is test these waters when they see these different colors. Because the people com complaining, they're getting different colors. Whoops, this is about a plan. Hold on. Yeah, this is about the... Uh, they claim they're getting... They're seeing the different colors. Just popping up from time to time. You see, in the end of this... It says... Uh, Residents reported the stream has exhibited these various unusual colors in the past. Gray, green, violet, blue, brown, often oily. All right, they've been filing complaints, but, you know, maybe nobody's to blame. Maybe it's just a natural river, you know, which I got a feeling that that's probably what's going on there in my mind. If I had to give you an opinion, that would be my opinion. All right, I love you all. 
We need to just see the planet we live on, the world we live in, and you know, and, and then explore the, you know, the deep meaning of that. I mean, I don't know what it means. I just don't know anymore. You have to decide for yourself. I've come to a conclusion, not a conclusion, but a, you know, semi-stable way of thinking about this. Understanding how complicated life is and how expansive it is. It's in the, the entire universe. As far as I'm concerned, is biological. What does that mean? There's all kinds of different things. As you can see from the ancient stuff, all these pilot-looking things and crazy stuff, we always just threw up our hands and said, oh, that's just crazy. Well, yes, but doesn't mean it's not true. So anyway, that's what we got. And did the river turn red because of toxins? You come up with your own decision. All right, and we're going to, have to go into all the different things. I'm just going to keep going on this road until we come up with reality. We start examining the universe for the reality that it truly is. And it's not going to happen just by accident. And people are still scared of speaking up. And they don't understand. I, I understand why they don't understand. It's very difficult for the human mind to... It bounces. I, 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 when I say things to people, I, just, I can see it's just not even hit. It never sinks past the, the eyeballs. It's just boing. It's just gone. Because I, I really don't know why to be honest with you anymore. It's just so much overwhelming evidence that it cannot be ignored. But it is. Anyway, that's where we still are. We'll get there, my friends. Speak up. Don't worry. You're right. You're going to be right. All right, I'll talk to you later. Thank you. Bye.